We're at the 2013 NBA Summer League in Las Vegas with New Orleans Pelicans guard Austin Rivers. Austin, appreciate you taking the time. No this is your second year back. Tell us the kind of advice you gave these rookies coming in to help them prepare for this game. Uh, my biggest thing was to stay loose. Um, don't take it too seriously. At the end of the day, this is something we've all been doing our whole life. I think guys getting here and I can see in warm-ups a lot of guys were you know, shaking and nervous because you know this is their first opportunity and they're worried about who's watching. I was like, man, at the end of the day, it's two baskets, it's one ball, it's a court. It's something we've been doing our whole life. Just go out there and play hard. If you go 0 for 30, if you miss every shot, turn the ball up, doesn't it? Just play hard. Don't worry about nothing, no mistakes. And that's what I did. And if you do that, you'll play better. So uh, I just try to stay loose and tell everybody else to stay loose as well. Okay, like I said, this is your second year. You got to know your teammates a little bit better. Let's talk style. Who's got the best style on the Pelicans? Who's got the worst style on the Pelicans? Uh, I'd have to say I probably dress the best. Uh, me and Ro Roger Mason. Roger Mason's a great dresser as well. Uh, he could dress. Uh, Class, he was suits and ties, or we can, you know, dumb it down and, and dress in kind of a more street look. Um, I'm kind of the same thing. Um, and the worst, uh, not everybody can dress good in our team. I don't know if I want to put anybody on blast. We got, we everybody can dress pretty good in our team. Uh, that's a good teammate. Not putting yeah. on blast. I like that. Okay, let's talk about food. If you were forced to eat at one fast food restaurant for the rest of your life, what fast food restaurant would you choose and why? Uh, probably Chick Fil A. Um, even though it's all chicken, you can get salads and stuff like that. Um, even though it's fast food, when you eat there, you don't feel as bad. You have like, a, I think it's like the, as healthy as fast food gets. Um, so I'd probably do uh, Chick Fil A. Okay. What's your favorite iPhone app that you got out? Um, favorite iPhone app? Probably be the. It used to be that T Pain app where you could make your own songs. I felt like I was like an R&B singer. Um, besides that, probably a uh, Temple one. That's a good game. I always play that game. It's challenging. Um, I like simple app games like that. Okay. Say you're in a game show and you want a yacht. What would you name that yacht? That's a tough question. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe Moam. Something like my nickname or people call me Moam. Uh, man on a mission. Uh, I don't know. I, that's a tough That's a tough question. I have to think about that. Okay. Let's talk movies for a little bit. If you were to choose one actor that would play you in a movie, what actor would you choose? Uh, Will Smith. Okay. Will Smith. Um, he's, not my, he's one of my favorite actors, but if I... My favorite actor is Leonardo DiCaprio, but he couldn't really... I don't know. He don't really look alike, so... Um, Will Smith or something like that. Okay. I'd say. If you were stuck in one TV show for one week, what TV show would you pick and why? Um... Probably, uh, I don't watch this show, uh, but there's a lot of pretty girls in there, so Pretty Little Liars or something like that. I could be around all those beautiful girls, so that'd probably be the show I'd be okay. stuck in. What is your ultimate vacation spot? If you could choose anywhere in the world you're able to go, where would you choose? I'd probably go somewhere I've never been before, like Fiji, like something crazy, where, far away where no one knows who I am, no one knows who, what I do or cares, uh, where I could just be a regular person and hang out with my family and just have fun. Um, that's probably where I'd go, something like that. Okay. You had the opportunity to put a message, quote, or saying in a fortune cookie. What would you put in there? Um, Maybe a quote you live by, something that you could share with others? Uh, I'd probably be like, do what you got to do now, that way later in life you could do what you want to. Okay, I like that. Last question, we're in with this. You're stuck on a deserted island. You get three things to bring with you. What three things, things are you bringing? A boat? <laughs> Bring a boat and get off it. That's all you need, right? That's all I'd get off the island with a boat. A boat and a whole bunch of gas. There you go. Yeah. Austin, I appreciate you taking the time. Good luck with you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you.